Ladies and gentlemen, I have with me on the phone Miss Coco from the 1990s R&B girl group SWV. Coco, thank you for being on the time machine. Hi, how you doing? Hi, how you doing? I'm good. Good, good, good. We are just hearing SWV's biggest hit in the background. Must I say that's like one of my favorite SWV joints. Oh, thank you. You know what I mean? So, um, straight into it, um, how did you get your start singing? How did I get my start in singing? Mm -hmm. in, the ch in church. Mm -hmm. I grew up in church singing in church, so that's basically where it all started. Okay. Now, um, how did SWV come about? Uh, we uh, we were friends, longtime friends, and Lily decided she wanted to put a girl group together, so she called me, and I called Charge, and we all hooked up, did demo tape. Our manager shot the tape. And we got hooked up with RCA. That okay. was the beginning. And then you guys came out with your debut album, It's About Time. Came out like around 91, 92? 92. 92. And um, you guys had the hits, um, I'm So Into You, right here. With, and the remix, which was actually used on the Free Willy soundtrack, it was really the track that blew you guys up. No. I think Week blew us up. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Now, who ideas was it to um, use the um, Michael Jackson Human Nature sample? Um, it was our a and at the time. His name is Kenny Ortiz. Okay. Yeah. And did you guys expect that song to be, like, that big of a hit? Mm, no, not really. Not really? No. Okay. Now, when We came out, that song just put you guys in the stratosphere. I mean, it was like a crossover smash. Mm hmm And um, I can remember back in the day, I had, like, some, some cousins, you know, they were... You know how girls get, they had the little slumber parties and stuff, and they were singing week with the um, <laughs> curling iron, the brush, and all of that. And that was, like, one of the most played singles on, like, radio back in, like, around 93. Yeah. And um, how did you feel about JoJo remaking Week off her debut CD? Oh, it was cool. She's a good girl, so I didn't mind. Okay, so um, you felt that she did your version any justice? She did a good job. She did a good job on it? <laughs> okay. She did a very good job. Can't, can't complain, can't complain, can't complain. Now, um, who, who are some of the most favorite producers that SWV has worked with over the years? Oh, I don't know. We work with some of everybody. I enjoy working with everybody because they all brought something good to the table. So I'm not going to just pick one out. I enjoy mm -hmm. everybody because, you know, they all contributed something to SWV and our success. Right, right. Now, you are now signed with Artemis Gospel. Mm -hmm. And you're coming out for Gospel CD. Tell the people a little bit more about that. Um, it's more like an inspirational record, you just more positive, you know, a positive way of living, and just to let them know that Jesus Christ is the way, you know. I True. grew up in church, so that's really where my roots are, so I'm just going back to where I started. Right. Now, who are some of the people you got working on this new CD? Um, so far, I've worked with Warren Campbell, um, Shep Crawford, and I'm supposed to work with Jay Moss. Okay. And uh, hopefully Rodney Jerkins, is, he's supposed to come through, too. Wow, wow. Now, and my uh, husband, excuse me, my husband and my brother-in-law are supposed to be doing some stuff, too. Okay, okay. Now, like, what do you want to come across on this album, like, by you doing, like, gospel, and then you have some of your old SWV fans probably want to check you out on this one? Oh, it's just inspirational. It's just by everybody to live more positive. It's just positive music, getting a positive message across. There's so much negativity going on in the world today. I just wanted to put something positive out. Right, and after the um, New Beginning record that SWV put out and you guys had to hit You're the One, you came out with a solo CD called um, Hot Cocoa, am I correct? Mm -hmm. Right. And you had to hit Sunshine off right. of that. Right, that was about my son. Right, uh, that's that's nice. Now, <laughs> now, what was the difference between you doing those two SWV records and your solo record? Uh, it was just me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. It was just me. It really wasn't too much of a difference. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you guys also had the um, lead off song off the Booty Call soundtrack, the Can We Joint with Missy, which um, right. blew up like around 97, 98, which mm -hmm. well, I will try to squeeze in later on tonight. And um, like looking back on SWV, you know, if you have to describe SWV in one word, what would it be? Ooh, one word? One word. It's as many words as you want. You know, this 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 your world. It's, it's okay. your time. I'm no, fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> Right. I don't know. Right. We were, I, we were good. 
Right, right. And I um, enjoyed it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now, um, by you being like solo now, is like SWV going to go on tour or go back in the studio and do another record? Say it again. Um, by you doing your gospel record now, um, is SWV going to go back in the studio and do another record or go out on tour, do spot dates? Well, not right now. I mean, we, um, not right now. Right now, we're doing spot dates, but once my record comes out, no, we won't be. Ah. Uh... What's the matter? Nah, well, well, you know, as long as y'all y'all doing y'all doing y'all thing, you know what I mean. So, you know, SWV, you guys did y'all got, y'all put it down, you know what I mean, for the girl groups, you know. And we still putting it down. Y'all still putting it down. We all, we and we still, you know, we were just like, I don't want to say ghetto, mm-hmm. but you know, we didn't wear all the high heels and stuff like that. We still. When you see us now, we have on our sneakers, our jeans, mm-hmm. and just jackets, and we just straight singing. Right. And we plan on doing a, a reunion record. We really do plan on doing that for the fans. Okay. That's that's what's up, people. That's that's what's up. Now, um, who are some of your influences coming up singing? Um, I have to say Tremaine Hawkins, um, the Clark Sisters, definitely. Okay. Um, Shirley Murdoch, and um, Miss Patti LaBelle. All right. That that that's that's a good class right there. And um, yeah. for you people that don't know, the Clark Sisters are a legendary gospel group. One of the members is Karen Clark Sheard, who has a daughter, Kiki, yeah, right. who's doing her thing right now on the gospel scene. Now, how do you feel about contemporary gospel being like one of the biggest selling like dramas right now? Because you got Kurt Franklin and Mary Mary doing their thing. I think it's great because a lot of people that don't go to church, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So they, won't, they don't really know what's going on in church. So when they hear this music, that's something positive for their souls. And, you know, it's making them feel good, you know what I mean? So then they want to know more about God and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I'm all for it. Now, um, by you be, being a female in like a sort of like a male-dominated music industry, um, how do you feel about you know women's place in like music videos now as compared to back when SWV was out? I think it's terrible. Mm-hmm. All the booties and stuff, that's, I, I think it's terrible. I think you should be able to sing, get your point across without taking your clothes off. That's that's true. That's true. I that's true. Back in the days, we sold many records without taking our clothes off. Mm-hmm. What's the difference now? Why do you have to do that? Right. That's 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 true. That's true. That's true. And, um, like... If you had anybody else that you want to work with, like, production-wise, and like a future record, who would it be? Um, producer-wise? Mm-hmm. Um, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Okay. Yes. Legendary duos helped Janet Jackson with Control and New Edition with their classic album, Heartbreak. Yes. Now, if you have one thing to say to the people out there about why should they get this new record when it drops, go ahead. Because it's going to be hot. It's going to be fire. <laughs> it's going to be fire. You know, it's going to be a really good album, seriously. And I have a song on there. I'm doing a um, Clock Sisters remake, actually, um, in Dow Me, featuring Faith Evans and Lil Mo. So it's going to be hot. You know, okay. I got something for everybody. It's going to really be good, so you're not going to want to miss this. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm definitely looking forward to it coming out, and I'm um, hearing that first single when it drops, because I believe, you know what I mean, it's it's going to be that bomb joint, you know what I mean? <laughs> now, um, before we close this interview out, would you mind um, singing a little something for the people? What you want me to sing? Um, let me see. We already played week. How, <laughs> how about um, right here? Okay, let me see if I remember. Uh, okay, you ready? Mm, go ahead. Lately, there seems to be some insecurities about the way I feel, where I want to be. Boy, you know it's with you. No one can do the things you do to me. Okay. All right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. There you have it, Coco from SWV. When her CD comes out, do you have a title for it? Not yet. Still in the working stages? I'm still thinking about it. All right, but when it comes out, people, go support, you know what I mean? And when SWV comes to your town, you know what I mean? Go see them, you know what I mean? SWV.